Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Today I have this A-frame that I created in Revit 2019. Um, I exported and imported into SketchUp Pro 2018. And I'm going to go ahead and add some textures here using Render 2.0. If you're interested, there's a video of me creating this A-frame. Um, actually a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's my last video. I'll drop the link down in the description below and also if you want if you want either that file that whole that entire Revit file or if you want this SketchUp file of this blank canvas A-frame you can visit gates3designs.net and uh, you can find any of the files that I work on also if you're interested in more in-depth tutorials um, when it comes to the render in the description below is my Udemy course and um, I'm up to four students so far so uh, the goal is to get to 10 that's my first milestone um, so if you're interested in learning more about the render um, you want to become more familiar about the different engines creating your own materials and things like that um, come on over um, I'll be posting up new videos every week um, so uh, check it out so uh, let's go ahead and get started
Hey everybody, I'd like to direct you to a website, gates3designs.net. So if you're interested in downloading any of the models I created to create my renderings, you can come here and under SketchUp Models, you can find a lot of the models that I use for my YouTube videos. If you notice when I start my models, it's in a blank canvas form and you can download that form, that, that blank canvas form here and take a stab at creating your own renderings. Whether it's Thea Render or uh, Lumion or whatever you want to use um, through SketchUp, you have models here that you could use if you'd like to. A lot of my models um, I create in Revit, so I'm also uploading a lot of the Revit files that I use to create these models. So if you want to take a stab at learning Revit or using Revit, you can download those files here also.